Jay, do you know what time it is? Does it start with an R? No, it starts with a B. It starts with a B? Yeah, it's time to get into the beef. Somebody set the vamp's castle on fire! Ah! The vamp family called a detective. Where's the detective? <laughs> I want you to solve this crime! He questioned all family members and found out that three people visited the castle that day, okay? I saw an ad in the internet about the vamps looking for a new cook! <laughs> the vamps, keeping up with the vamps. I came to apply for the job, but they said no. Oh, they turned him down? He wasn't qualified. I was going to work there as a maid, <laughs> but I didn't know they were vampires. Oh, those darn vampires, I tell you. Yeah, as soon as I saw them, I ran away! Ah! I am a delivery guy! <laughs> Just gonna deliver you some pizza! <laughs> I brought new clothes for Mrs. Vamp! You did not, it's pizza. I know she's a vampire, but why would I care? Oh, he's not judgmental. He's all inclusive. Yeah, he's a nice guy. <laughs> Who set the castle on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Who set it on fire? <laughs> Who set that castle on fire? Why do I feel like I don't have enough information? Cassie, wait, I'm scared. Who set the castle ablaze? The cook, because he looks like he wasn't qualified. Oh? Yeah, see, he was cooking something for them, but then he messed up, accidentally set it on fire, and he got out of there. He was like, yoink. <gasps> wait a minute. Dave said that he saw an ad for a cook, but when they got there they didn't want to cook so it was obviously dave right yeah right, cassie wow first riddle of the day we just nailed that point it vampires don't need any cooks they eat humans on, i know all they eat is blood yeah, all they, eat is they blood. just suck your blood forever right cassie you gotta say blood <laughs> they only drink they only drink in the blood they pop in bottles of blood all day. <laughs> Foreign bottles of blood. Claire and Hannah went to a cafe. Oh, this cake is delicious. Thank you, Claire. Both of them were on a diet. Oh, can't be eating a any of that. cake diet? Okay, sure. <laughs> so they ordered <laughs> just some herbal tea. Oh, I mean, you guys are eating cake by the looks of it. I think they forgot to add that part. <laughs> and a piece of cheesecake to share. They had a great time together. They loved it. But an hour later, Hannah died. <laughs> Hannah, come on. Hannah. Way to ruin the mood, Hannah. <laughs> the autopsy revealed that she was poisoned. At least she died doing what she loved, eating cheesecake and cheating on her diet. Yeah, that's what she loved to do, just cheat. <laughs> where was the poisies? Wait, 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 Where wait, was wait, the poisies? Can, can you go back? No. I, I will tell you where the poisies are. No. But you gotta go back just a little bit, Cassie, please. No. You know what we say in Malay? Okay, we you say, know what? Da. I know where the poisies is. All right, where? It's in the sweetener, the sugar. Duh, because only she had Duh, some. because she broke Duh. it. She broke it, lined up the sugar on the table, and sniffed it like crack. <laughs> that means the restaurant must have done it. Oh. See, she, she committed to the diet. She didn't put any sugar. <laughs> oh, that's what you should do. She only had cheesecake. Yeah, the stevia was all <laughs> fine, but the sugar was poison. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Artificial <laughs> sweetener? No, no, no. Cheesecake? Yes. Sam worked as a security guard at a hospital. He's like, you shall not pass unless you're dying. One day, somebody stole all the blood from the hospital. Sam carefully watched the CCTV. Let's see what you did there, Cassie. That was really clever. But it didn't help. Oh, no. Oh, get good. Yeah, right? The Robert was good. He said GG easy, no re. It's GG's. Look at that. It looks like the Grim Reaper. He was wearing a long cloak and a hood, and Sam knew the hospital was located in a peculiar zone. What's the peculiar zone? Right in the middle of the sparkly forest where strange <laughs> creatures lived. I don't ever want to go there. He went there and identified three suspects. Okay, three. Three suspects. Who stole the blood? Who? Uh, is it the vampire? Because he has a the biggest motive to steal blood, right? Okay, I'm so gonna go with Dorian then. <laughs> what I don't get is why they all have names. Like, who cares? Just say the witch, the vampire. Yeah, and who cares? Queen. Billy, Clara, <laughs> Dorian? I don't care. Yeah, I think it, it's either Dorian Smith or Billy Zeiss. <laughs> Billy Johnson? Is it you? <laughs> Obviously, it's a vampire because vampires like blood, but like, I feel like they're trying to bait us, so... <laughs> They're not trying to bait us. All right, well, I'm going with the witch because I think that I think this guy's baiting me. Okay, why would the witch take it? Because she goes, e -e 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 I need this blood for a nice soup. It looks like she's scolding the vampire. Like, she's like, oh, don't you dare. I, I got there first. Don't you steal my blood. Okay, I'm going to go with Dorian. You go with Clara. All right, I'm gonna... And I'm going to cross my fingers and pray. That oh! So oh, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So Billy doesn't need blood, okay? Oh, oh. Dorian doesn't go out during the daytime. Duh, Jay. Idiot. She took oh, the blood to make potions. I was right. 
Cassie. I'm rusty, Cassie. You're just a rusty trombone right now. I'm rusty. I need to be oiled up. This will oil you up. Who's lying? I gave you my brain or... I gave you my blood. I gave you my blood. <laughs> my blood. Who's lying? Yeah, who's lying? Okay, zombies don't have brains, right? Oh. Ah, you no, didn't no, know no, that. No, 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 no. They like to eat brains. It's not that they don't have brains. Why would they want to eat brains? Are you trying to tell me right now that if I got bit by a zombie, all of a sudden I wouldn't have a brain anymore? <laughs> My brain. No, no, no. no. Cassie, Cassie, zombies become zombies because the brain rots from the inside. It just decays. So they have no more brain. Oh, so they have to eat brains. So they're just like, brains. Okay, she's a liar. But, I mean, why would the vampire, like, the vampire eats Wait, blood. wait, 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 wait. But vampires don't have blood, right? That's why they ingest blood? They have blood? That's why they're so pale, right? Oh. Oh, oh right, okay. right, Cassie, okay. Cassie. Okay. Am I onto something? I think you're onto something special. Okay, mm -hmm. I am going to go with the vampire. She is lying. That is my final answer. I'm going to go with the zombie because I'm better than you. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to go with the vampire because I am right and you are wrong. Oh! What? Oh! Oh, they baited. Oh. oh, we got baited. We got baited. That's a nut shot right there. That oh, hurts. Wait. Uh oh, wait. Huh? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. He couldn't take the brain of a zombie as it would be rotten. You were right. I probably wrote that comment. I'm a subscriber. <laughs> I think you it was are. me. Thank you, 7 Second Riddles. What a great day. Listen, it was a really romantic night. Doing what couples do. You know what I'm saying? The mattress mambo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they were doing some mattress mambo, okay? You know, some horizontal salsa dancing? <laughs> exactly. John and Mary were doing some horizontal salsa dancing. I was going to say sausage <laughs> dancing. Whoa, they, they were doing that too. <laughs> John and Mary were doing some funny business because they're, wait, they woke wait, up. Cassie, why, why are you adding? to the story that doesn't even say anything like that okay listen listen <laughs> he's not wearing his best nighty for no reason john and mary woke up because their son was crying well tell him to shut up shut up the both of you go yes. back to sleep sonny what happened well a, a vampire he tried to kill me <laughs> oh that's a lie son no it's not now you're gonna get a spanking i remember his face yeah i, I drew he drew that I drew that, that quick yeah i whipped it up real quick oh okay john and mary Question the staff in their house. The guy with the floppy ears. A senior floppy butler. Oh, yeah, the butler with those freaking bat ears. Yeah. Yeah, bat yeah. ears. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Pouring up for the bat ears. Let's go to Minnesota. Let's go to Minnesota. Open a can of soda. <laughs> <laughs> Robin got back from work earlier than usual. Honey, I'm uh Oh, home. his wife is cheating. <laughs> his wife and son met him at the door, okay? Nothing bad happened. And when the wife went to the kitchen to make dinner, the little son whispered to Oh, he's a little rat. Oh, he's a little snitch. Dad, why did an unknown man come here? Hey, dear, who came to us? Well, a pipe burst in the bathroom, sweetie. I bet a pipe did I, burst. I called a plumber. <laughs> I called a bigger pipe. I mean, Rob <laughs> entered the bedroom and realized that his wife was oh, cheating no. on him. Oh, no. How? Oh, oh it looks like there's like grease marks on the curtain. <laughs> like, what were they doing? Slip and sliding in some dark oil? <laughs> yeah, they were, and he was whacking her with his wrench. <laughs> he was whacking her. There was some pipe laying going on. <laughs> he was laying the pipe. He was laying the pipe down. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, whoa. That oh, and... Kinky. And that... <laughs> oh, is that blood? Oh, whoa! Blood? <laughs> blood? Wait, what? I thought he was cheating. No! That was a cheating riddle, right? Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be, but it was a little crazy. Why was there blood? It was a little wacky, all right? King James, the richest, had a wizard. He served him faithfully for 20 years. A faithful old guy. One day, the king got to know that his wizard fell in love with his daughter. Oh, can't be having that. Ooh. And wanted to marry her. E. The king was furious and oh, kicked no. him out of the castle. <laughs> he got punted like a football. The wizard decided to turn into a king guard and kidnap the princess. Who is the wizard? A, B, I C, or D? I think it's C because that helmet looks like it's on weird. <laughs> He's wearing his helmet the wrong way? No, no. I know who it is. It's D because the guy can't even hold the weapon the right way. Oh, yeah. He's holding it I from the, <laughs> the end part. <laughs> holding the mace from like, you the freaking spiky dork. part? Oh, my goodness. He's going to injure himself. That's not even not knowing how to hold it. That's just being an idiot. That's just being a silly goofer. <laughs> is this how you hold it? Bob and Anna have been married for 10 10 years. Oh. Man, it is a long time. Yeah, it is too long. Anna is <laughs> too always long. upset 
when Bob goes on business trips. She does not trust because him. Because he's getting his hanky. No, no, on. he's not. He's a good man, okay? She just he's has me. trust issues. Once okay. Bob came home from a business trip as usual, at night, Anna heard Bob's phone chiming. Oh, bring, bring. she got up to turn it off and saw a new message. Ben, it says Ben. Anna immediately called back. She's getting to, oh, she's mad. Who is this? And heard a female voice. Hey, baby. I will find and kill her. Mm, that's an appropriate reaction. In the morning, Anna went to Bob's office. Ooh, she is riding in her Scratch little car, her little car about to break down. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> she went to the office and interviewed all women. Dun, 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 dun. What do you have to say for yourself, Bella? I would never start an affair with a married man. I, oof. I don't believe you. All right, who's next? I don't know, but she's shaking her fist at her. He's my boss, that's all. I mean, I am quite exotic. It says Mary Rich. Oh. Ooh, that's <laughs> hey. a little incriminating. I work on another team. I don't even know, Bob. I'm Betty McAdams. I don't even know, Bob. The cookie monster. I don't even know him. I was just here to eat cookies. I don't even know who Bob is. Who is his mistress? Bella Duncan. It just says bed with three bed emojis. Yeah. Bella Duncan, Mary Rich, or Betty McAdams, huh? Uh-huh. You know what? I'm going to go with middle girl. Middle girl? I'm, I'm going to go with Mary Rich, too, because I don't trust her. Because, like, yeah, you Mary know, she, Rich, she wants she to marry rich. rich. Yeah, she knows. Yeah. She totally Who doesn't knows. want to marry Rich? Here's the question, though. This girl be putting on that eyeliner with precision today. Right. Maybe she's trying to, you right. know, she, lay it She on. knows what she's doing. Yeah, here. right? And then Bella Duncan, she doesn't care. She's just coming in for a paycheck. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> she's looking greased up, all right? <laughs> okay, so I, I think, yeah, I think Mary Rich. Mary Rich. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So the whole Betty thing, you're just roasting her a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I was just roasting her. I, uh, I just, just I, I respect roasties. the grind. I respect the grind. I wake up and get yeah, ready. Yeah, right? Morning, so Can't knock that hustle. No, not at all. <gasps> Bella? Bella? Whoa! B-E-D. You have to be out of your mind. Wait, that doesn't even make any sense. Why would you? Yeah, why would you put B-E and then D from her last name? Get this out of my face. Get this out of my face, you know Cassie. Yeah, let's, get, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm sick of this. Dean rode his motorbike to the grocery shop. <laughs> when he bought everything he needed and went out into the parking lot. Oh no, his bike is gone. Oh, where's my ride? Now I can't get any ladies. He reported the theft, the theft of ladies. And the police soon found three <laughs> suspects. The theft of broken hearts from all the girls that love this motorcycle. What were you doing today? Hmm? I didn't even know Dean was going to the shop. That's his girlfriend? Okay. I don't like his motorbike anyway. I'm totally not jealous at all. I was out of town all day. It couldn't have been me. <laughs> Who stole the motorbike? Uh, his friend? It had to have been. Because I think he has, I was gonna say, I think he has a motorcycle in his backpack, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has the tools to steal in his backpack. That doesn't even make any sense either. Yeah, no, he, oh. oh. <laughs> How did she know where the motorbike was stolen? You love your bike more than me. That's why I stole it. A robber was trying to escape from the police in an armored car that he just stole. He's escaping because he stole a car that he's <laughs> trying to get away with from the police? Exactly. <laughs> On the bridge, okay. the robber lost control of his car and fell into the water. <laughs> he has just a few seconds to decide how to save himself. Are we even going to try to no, save him? No, he needs to die. He's a robber. Wait until the car goes underwater, A. B, break the window with a hammer. No, absolutely not. Or C, shout as loud as the <laughs> cops, help! <laughs> help me, save me! Or D, open the door right now. What should he do to survive? Okay, well, B is not the answer because water would just come running in. Uh-huh. Same thing with D. C is stupid. So wait until it goes underwater. So you know how the car is not traveling anymore? Mm -hmm. The water would come in slower. He should wait till it goes underwater so it's not falling down. Okay. And then either open the door or break the window. Do not shout as loud as possible because they already know where you are. You're telling me that the key here is to wait until the car goes underwater and then open the door. Yeah. Why not open the door right now? Because the car is still falling down so the water would come rushing in faster, right? Or no? I don't know. I don't know what to do in this situation. So this is kind of like a little hack, you know? I'm just going to say A. Okay, I'm going to freak out and die. I'm going to say yeah, D. Just, uh, you're going to do C? Ah! <laughs> Help! It's an armored car, so breaking the window is not going to work. Shouting as loud as possible is really stupid. No one should ever yes. do that. Oh, it's impossible. The water pressure is too strong. Okay, that's what I figured. But I wanted to disagree with you. When the car is completely underwater, he will be able to open the door. <gasps> mm. No, so you have to like... Oh, it's so scary. You have to let it get worse before you can make it better. Yeah, you just have to make sure the car's not moving anymore so no water is just like pushing against the car as it's falling down. 
and then once it's just at a standstill, then the water is pretty much calm again. I hate that. So you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I hate that so much. Fred was watching the news with his wife. Wow, what a good husband. No, I mean, look how he's sitting. Something's wrong. The maniac keeps on killing people in Ashland. He ambushes his victims in hotels and loves them to death. Oh no, you're going to Ashland tomorrow. Why does he look like the maniac? Don't worry, I will be careful when I strangle, I mean travel. <laughs> The next day, Fred went on a business trip to Ashland. Ashland? Ashland. Ashland. Aflac. He arrived <laughs> two hours before the meeting and decided to check in oh, no. first. Oh, my goodness. At the no. same hotel on the news. No. Single room, please. Room number 502. Here you go. Let me show you out, sir. Oh, no. It's the maniac. No. Fred immediately realized that he was the maniac and ran away. Oh, zoip. Uh, yoink. How did he get? Oh. Because. Wait, Cassie, tell me. Tell me, please. Because there's only three floors and he's putting him in room five. Oh, like, no. Oh, he's going to take him to nowhere, lad. It's so five scary. Five What a dumb maniac. At least give him number two something. Oh, no room tag. Oh, he's <laughs> taking him to the closet. It's a three-story hotel. He's about to take him to two levels up. Oh, that's so scary. I hate that. That is freaky. Laura met Harry on the internet. Ooh, internet dating. They went out on a date and they looked just as good in person as they did in their pictures. Never happens. Everything was great. Look at that face. He wants that. Harry was a smart and handsome guy. Bing! With a good sense of humor. She's in love. She loves him. Ooh, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. When the waiter brought the desserts... Ah, Michael Jackson! Laura jumped up and ran away from the cafe. Why did she run away? Well, look at the top left, Cassie. Oh, um, yeah. Ah, uh, um, wanted. Mr. Perfect. There's always something wrong with Mr. Perfect. If somebody's handsome and has a good sense of humor, chances are they're probably wanted men. Oh, okay, Jay. I see what you're implying. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cherry was the CEO of a marketing company. Oh, so rich. So fantastic. Probably a wanted man who knows. Oh, and his colleagues found him dead in his office in the morning. With his tongue out? He was doinked in the head. Okay, you're gonna have to believe me because I can't show that. Doink, doink, doink. He was doinked. Three people visited his office that day. This guy has no head. I think it was him. Yeah, two dorks and... And Vanessa from finance. <laughs> Lily says, I have to fire some employees. Okay, Betty got fired. Yeah, we oh, we got rid of her. She was useless. So I came to sign required papers. Please, don't die of excitement for my story. I brought him the budget for the signature. No, you didn't, Andy. I had to get my leave request signed. <laughs> Betty. Why? It is Betty, Cassie. Why? Because she said she had to get her leave signed, but Lily fired her. Uh, oh, you know what else? What? Betty forged the signature. This does not look like the other two. Oh. Yep, it was Betty. What a nasty, nasty woman. She's nasty. And she nasty was lying girl. because her nose grew bigger. Look at that nose. <laughs> Ooh. She's been lying. A different signature. Nasty, put some We're clothes just too good at on. This. Why don't you? They're going to fire Betty so she has a motive for a blessing. For blessing people. Mr. Road worked as a janitor for Mr. Darren. Oh, he looks evil. He worked only during the day and left early. Oh, he is so evil as he had trouble sleeping. So, you know, he had a little insomnia, so he left late. One day, Mr. Darren asked for him to stay longer and offered extra pay. Cha -ching. He's making that money, honey. Mr. Road agreed. Obviously, I would too. <laughs> I'd do anything for that. When he was leaving. Oh, he stepped on his shoelace and fell down. Oink. Yoink. <laughs> Hitting his head hard. Ouch. The next morning, he was arrested. By the cutest cop you've ever seen. Because Mr. Darren was removed from life. He was phased? He phased <laughs> up. The detective found Mr. Rhodes' prints on the carpet. And his fingerprints on the weapon. Mr. Rhodes had to take a lie detector test. What were you doing last night? Oh, I, I didn't kill him. I, I was sleeping that night. No, is that right, buddy? Yeah. Mr. Rhodes passed the test, though. But he did destroy Darren. <laughs> He just annihilated him. The lie detector was never wrong. How is it possible? Because lie detectors are inaccurate <laughs> and can't even be used in a court of law. I don't know. Okay, I mean, that's the that's a pretty technical answer. That's a pretty technical <laughs> answer. Other than that, how is this possible? The answer is he definitely did end that guy. Yes. He's trying to claim that he probably, what, had amnesia because he doinked his head. <gasps> oh. 
he might not remember. Or he said I was in bed that night. Maybe he was. Maybe he did the moid and then went to bed. Yeah, he banged his head. Couldn't remember what happened that day. Yes. But he did it anyway. Yep. He didn't remember that he got rid of Mr. Darren Cassie, because he I'm, hit his I'm head. I'm giving myself a, a pat on the shoulders. I think that's well deserved. I'm pretending they're your hands. Oh, Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, what was that sound? A good one. You have got lost in a cave. Wandering, you come across two tunnels. Ooh, this scares me. There is a guard by each tunnel. Oh, there's a sign. Keep out. You know that one leads to the exit. Do they get paid to do that? Hopefully they're getting paid. How do you apply for a job to be the guard of this hole? A guard of the hole in the cave of wonders. <laughs> Five bucks a year. Why do you think you're qualified to guard this hole right here? I guard all types of holes. You have no idea. <laughs> I've been wanting to guard holes my whole life. This is what I went to school for. I have a master's in hole guard. My favorite beer is Whole Garden. Okay. <laughs> you know that one leads to the exit, and the second one to another cave full of traps. Ooh, that's not nice. You don't want that one. One guard always lies. Why are you lying, though? What did I ever do to you? <laughs> no, he failed in school. He's not qualified. The other <laughs> always tells the truth. You can only ask one yes or no question to one of the guards. What do you ask? Oh, you know what I do? I ask the guard on the left, what does that sign say that he's uh, in front of? Uh oh. And if he always lies, Love it's going to be something weird. And then we're going to read it and be like, man, what are you talking about? <laughs> Would the other guard say this tunnel leads to a trap? What? <laughs> I thought I was so smart. If he says yes, then it leads huh? to the exit. I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> oh, me neither. On Monday, all guests of the old tree restaurant got sick because the Christmas meat dishes were rotten. Was it my Christmas meat? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Meat was excluded <laughs> from the menu for the whole week. On Thursday, Jim's body was found by the restaurant. See, you shouldn't have ate the meat. Shouldn't have done that. The autopsy had shown that Jim had been actually moited. What? Yeah. From what? The meat? The police interviewed three suspects. Well, my friend and I were drinking wine in the restaurant. They had just brought me my burger. When the police came in, I couldn't even finish it. I was so hungry. I'm allergic to peanuts, so I was talking to the waiter about the menu. I'm one of those. Can I speak to your manager, yeah, please? please. I'm Karen. Goodness gracious. She even has the haircut. I'm going to say it was Kate just because she looks like a Karen to me. Yeah, I don't like Kate at all. I don't even like the way she's pointing her finger towards her lips. I agree. Oh, man, she's just nasty. I want her to get arrested. Me too. Even if she's innocent. I might frame her for something if she didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> just so we can get her arrested. I never want to see her face again. Yeah, same. Please. Get her out of here. Huh? Oh, who's that? Who's that? The restaurant didn't serve me that week. Why is that person looking ah, so evil? Oh, no. So Joe couldn't eat a burger. Joey. Joe. Oh, How could you on, do man. this to us, Joe? Danny was home alone when the fire started. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, no. He was a brave boy and didn't panic. Wow, what a cool guy. Danny got to figure out what to do next. Try to put out the fire on his own. He can barely hold this fire extinguisher. B, call 911. Or C, run away from the house. What should he do first? Call the police. You think? No. C, like, running would just make it worse. So C's at the equation. A seems like the logical thing to do, right? Because it looks like a small fire. But he's such a little guy. I know. How is he even going to get that to work? That thing looks like it weighs more than him. I know, right? It seems like it would be B, right? If I was a little guy, I would run first, and then I'd go to the neighbors, and I'd be like, call 911. That's true. That is true. I like that answer, Cassie. The fact that he's actually going to go to the neighbor's house. He's a, you know, we're extending not just running out. We're saying that he's gonna go over and ask for somebody's help. Yeah. I'm gonna go with C, Cassie. Okay, me too. Me too. Yeah, teamwork, yeah, Cassie. Yeah, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, that good old teamwork. A child should never put out the fire. It's too dangerous, so he shouldn't try to lift up that extinguisher. Man, you know what, kid? Man, oh. A call can take too much time. You might get trapped. Fire spreads fast. He may lose his chance to get out of the house. I was right. You gotta run, boy. You gotta run and call 911 after that. That's what yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's the future. Every kid has a cell phone now. <laughs> exactly. Call 911 as you're running. That's what I would do. Who would you save, would you Jay? Save? Who would you save? The girl with the wounded arm? The crying girl, or just the, you know, regular girl. By the way they look, I'm not saving anybody. <laughs> I'm not saving none what? of these What? You don't girls. like the pumpkin pie haircuts? I don't like the boy repellent do. <laughs> yeah, I, I would save the... Ugh, I don't even Okay, know. you know what, Cassie? What? I'm rolling my eyes as I'm saying this, but I'll save the kid in the back. <laughs> I'll be the nice guy. <laughs> I'll save her because I don't like a whiner. <laughs> Guys, look at how good I am. I'll save the kid in the back. <laughs> oh, okay. She can't swim. She's not only a kid. She had a broken arm. There was a fight in a nightclub. <laughs> 
I'm that guy right there, just still pointing his fingers <laughs> at the sky. Hey. Oh, Jack got hit in the head with a bottle. Doink. He fainted and was taken to a hospital. Later, dude. A police officer came to investigate the case. She questioned bartender Nick and two other suspects. Hi, bartender Nick. Hi, everybody. I was in the bathroom <laughs> and didn't see anything. What about Rick? I'm Jack's best friend. I would never hurt him. Why are you holding the bottle? I was waiting for Nick with the bottle in my <laughs> hand and I doinked him. I was ordering drinks and talking to the bartender. You're not the bartender? The police <laughs> officer realized that one of them was lying. Who was it? The bartender, Rick, or John? It was Rick, best friend, because he has the bottle. He doinked him. You think? I mean, he's the only he one with like a bottle. He's holding the bottle that got smacked over the guy's head. <laughs> he's like still <laughs> drinking it after. Oh, so John couldn't be talking to the bartender. It was him because the bartender was in the bathroom. Like he said, Jay, remember? Wow. Duh. <laughs> Three teenagers are on the reality show Survivor. Those are teenagers? Those yeah, are grown are. men. No, that's a, that, that kid's 12. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 11. Look at my hat. <laughs> Look at my forearms. I'm 10. Today's mission is to make a fire with wheat straw. Oh, that's impossible. They can only use one object. The dork's glasses. They aren't allowed to use matches or letters. The dork's like, please don't use, can you, we use her camera? Don't use my glasses. Not my glasses. The guy that's gonna lose, the dude on the left with the book. You think? The guy in the middle will make the fire come. Does that even make sense? <laughs> Uh... <laughs> okay, the guy will use his glasses to create some fire, and then the girl will use... She'll unscrew her camera lens from her camera to use that, I guess? Okay, yeah, this guy's out. This guy is gonna lose. Yeah, that guy's a loser. Yeah, he's done. The camera lens and the glasses are good to make a fire. I mean, they can focus on sunbeams. This guy, he's just got a book. Who's he thinking? Yeah. I know. Who reads? I know, right? This isn't a public library. Go home and read your book, loser. Go read Catcher in the Rise <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> Dorian got to know that he was going to die in a month. He already got his tombstone ready. Yeah, he paid for it too. He put a down payment because of a terminal illness. Oh! <gasps> He asked his insurance agent. Oh, the insurance agent probably wants nothing to do the with him. The shady insurance agent. If his family would get the insurance money after he died. Okay, just put it in your will. I'm so sorry, but such a case isn't included in your insurance. <laughs> We're the insurance company. That's what we do. It has Whoa. to be an accident or a doo-doo. Eh, eh, ah. It has to be a... <laughs> exactly. That's what murder sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 ah. <laughs> Dorian came up with an idea. Ooh. That it was gonna be a quote unquote accident. <laughs> In a month, his doctor called him. Hey, what are you doing? What are you calling me for? You're dead already. We accidentally messed up on your test results. You did. You're not. actually gonna die in one week. No. You don't have the disease. What? That's good news. <gasps> However, what? Dorian died in five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Dorian, no. How could you do it, Doc? With his egg-shaped body. He got screwed by the insurance company, screwed by the doctor, paid too much money for his tombstone. He got a bad haircut. Bad haircut. <laughs> dyed his ears pink. Had to dye his nose pink to match. Looks like he doesn't even lift. He doesn't even lift at all. <laughs> he definitely skipped leg day. Definitely. <laughs> all right. I'm going to stop for us. <laughs> all right, let's, let's just stop that. I have a theory, though. What? He wanted to make it an accident by poisoning himself. No, no, no. He sent somebody else's blood work to the lab so that if he died anyway, it would seem like an accident because the doctors were like, but he didn't have the disease. Doi. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, Cassie, oh, doi. Oh, oh. Uh, Dorian hired someone to get rid of him and didn't have time to call it off. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor thing. Wait, Cassie, wait, wait, wait. What? He got ended in five minutes, right? After the phone call ended? Yes. He couldn't have called the guy real quick and be like, yo, hey. He on. didn't have time. I don't have it no more. Come on. It was bad timing, okay? The guy was already polishing it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it ready. Yeah, he's like, oh, I can't wait. Ear, 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 ear. Like he's already standing next to him. Yeah, he's going, <laughs> rear, rear. oh dear, Jay, I'm worried. Uh, Excuse me. Why? I'm worried because we have to go to your channel right now and do more. Oh, you're worried about that? Yeah, I'm really worried about it, actually. You shouldn't be worried. You should be excited. Okay, actually, I'm excited. All right, how many people can we bring at once? I mean, I could piggyback a few. Yeah, I could carry probably like one and a half people right now. Don't so, even lie. So whoever can do that, come on, come with me. Let's go. Yeah, hop in our arms. We're going. Bye. Bye.